I ran into the sign that says it's turning. It hit the back window. And then I went over a little hill or whatever, and the fence was in me. And then I passed out for a little bit, and I woke back up and I just I couldn't move. Like it was hard to move my arms and stuff. I couldn't move my head, my legs. It felt like they were stuck. She said she could feel the wood in her chest, that she could feel her heartbeat on the wood as she was touching the wood. So it was, it was that close. It was literally right next to her heart. So when her heart pumped, it was hitting up against the post. Pretty it calm about it. it. Started like touching because I wasn't sure what was dripping down and it just all clicked and I was out. I was so close to home during the accident, like five minutes away. And, you know, I could, I could kind of feel myself slipping away that night, you know, because I was out there for so long. She was in that field for two hours. Someone was on his way to work when he saw the car. And just so, he, he said he got out, saw her, and didn't think she was alive. So he called 911 and knew the, the fire station was only a mile away. So he got in his car, drove to the fire station because he knew that would be faster than waiting for dispatch. 